I'm now driving the van that is absolutely the key to LDV's future. It's electric. LDV's aim is to become the leaders of electric vans, commercial vans across Europe. As for the actual driving experience, it feels just like driving a normal van but without the noise. It really is ultra quiet, which makes it a very relaxing van to drive. First question that any buyer of an electric van will want to know is how many miles will it go on a full charge? The answer to that is between 85 and 100, which makes this van perfect for city deliveries. It can be recharged up to 85% in two and a half hours and a full charge takes four hours which is ideal because you can simply recharge it on a conventional three plug in a commercial garage overnight. Top speed is limited to 55 miles an hour which is pretty ideal for city streets if you can get up to 50 miles an hour you'll be doing fairly well. It's got a normal five-speed gearbox but in city traffic which is the really nice bit you just put it into second gear and it drives like a normal automatic box. I think that white van man would love this. It's new technology, it's green, but it's a very relaxing drive and that's what he's interested in. The payload is good. On the interior it's just like a normal commercial diesel Maxxis which is state-of-the-art, a very modern vehicle. As the government hold the future of LDV in its hands, the appalling fact is that despite several requests from the company, no one from the government has seen fit to come and drive this van, which as I say is a pioneering van, and I cannot understand why they would not give the company the courtesy of coming to test this vehicle to see if it lives up to what the company says it does, which is the van for the current situation it's green it's efficient and it's totally practical as I drive around the streets of Birmingham it really would be a crime if for the likes of eight million pounds initially the government do not give LDV the assistance it needs until it gets a new investor in place because from a practical point of view I can tell you this I'm driving a van that's electric, that's green, that works and it should be supported by the British government because it could be a pioneering success